Hello everybody. I wanted to follow up my presentation at the AGM with a short highlight video of the concept drawings. Some people commented that the in-person view was a bit too small to see, and some people were confused on the layout, which is completely understandable. But before I dive in, I can't stress enough that these drawings are preliminary concept drawings. The more times we revise them, the more money they cost. Wisely, your church director set a maximum budget, so the architect and I jammed as much of everybody's wish list into these as possible. Our goal at this point isn't to come up with a final layout. Our goal is to get the most accurate budget price in place so the church leadership can make a plan for financing and fundraising. When the decision to go ahead is made, that is when we will spend the time gathering everyone's ideas to make the most amazing space for our church and its ministries. I will start with the outside view and I want to show you the roof particularly here. You can see this is our existing roof line and then there's an additional peak that we will be built on. This is to allow for the new ceiling in the sanctuary because the sanctuary has been turned sideways. Again we will continue to enter through the front doors and once you do this is a view of the basement you can walk through down the stairs into the children's ministry area where we're going to have a larger lower foyer for the, the sign-in area and a small classroom at the back. Then you'll go through the opening into the large corridor. On the right hand side is a wash hall and some storage at the back. On the left will be some storage and a servery. And then as you go down the hallway on either side will be children's ministry classrooms and born to dance rooms. As you move towards the north side of the building, there is an additional staircase here. And then we go into the north side of the building, which has been listed as a building shell, which has been earmarked for phase two interior development. So this entire shell is going to be constructed. It is going to be environmentally controlled, but it is not going to be developed. It's going to remain empty for now. And then on the east wall, you can see we have our new mechanical and electrical room. And then we have another staircase, which we needed to put in for bylaws. You can also see this dark outline, which is the outline of our existing building. So to give you a, a sense of scale and how large this addition is going to be, it's going to be quite significant. So moving up to the sanctuary, again, you'll walk through the doors. And we felt that there were, we needed more room for gathering. So we have two gathering areas. We have the one we currently use, but we've also created another one where you'd walk up a couple stairs here and we have what we call a flex gathering area with some operable walls, which would probably remain open most of the time. And then a coffee station here. So as people walk in and get ready for service, they can come in, visit, and then gather at their seats. At this gathering area, we've made changes to the washrooms to make sure we can accommodate that. And then we also have this overflow seating slash flex room with an additional operable wall, which I'm going to assume will remain closed for most services and maybe be used as a lounge or coffee area or a library or many other, other uses. So in the sanctuary, as I mentioned, it has been turned sideways. So we have our new stage on the east wall and then we have prep rooms on either side and then the AV is at the back. Now this flex room again is here. Uh, we try to remain as flexible as possible in our layout because we have many ministries looking for space. This could be a cry room during a, a service or whatever else we determine at that time. Again as you move into the north side of the building it's listed as the building shell which is going to be developed in phase two but we did put a few dotted lines to kind of show what some office space might look like. So moving into the 3D views, this is from the front looking towards the back. So you can see we have our audio visual booth, we have our screens, and then on either side are those flex rooms which have the movable walls. So this one would be more the gathering area room with these walls being open. This one maybe is closed and could be the cry room. But if we do need to put more chairs in with these doors open, we could put more chairs all the way to the back if we needed. There was a, one of the things we had to put in was a few columns in the sanctuary because it was too expensive 
to make this just one long span. So when we talk about putting extra chairs in, I did say, yes, we can put chairs at the back. We have to be cognizant of these columns. So we might not be able to pack as many in as we would like, but it's not going to be as obtrusive as you would think. Looking at the front, this side is that flex room where I said the movable walls would probably be closed off, but we showed it as additional seating for this view. And then you have your prep rooms on either side of the stage, and we have our screens at the front, room for the worship band. And of course, that ceiling line that I had mentioned that's made to draw your eye towards the front stage. I want to thank you for your time today, and I hope you have a blessed day.